Hello everyone. So today I want to go through um, a training on how to use Microsoft um, Teams, Microsoft Teams training. I will be doing one on Zoom, so look out for that one. Okay, so Microsoft um, Teams is for remote learning. Some schools use it, offices use it, um, universities use it. And it's really, you know, it's said to have secure content, access, you can share notes, create documents, and you can really collaborate, right? And I'm just going to talk you through um, how to use it from just an angle of someone who uses it myself. through everything. So I'm going to share my screen. First of all, you can see at the top you have, you can show the participants that's in your meeting. And it's just me because I'm doing a training. I don't have any participants here. And it will tell you who the organizer is. As you can also make sure that you have, and for added security. So if you click on these two, three dots, it will have don't allow attendance to unmute. So you can click on that. If you don't want um, your participants to be there making noise, it's a way to monitor or manage permissions. You can even download your attendance list to see if you need to take a register later on. So managing the permissions, I'm clicking on that. It will open up a screen in which you can um, click if you want to have someone bypass the lobby, only you or other people. So what that means is, are you going to just have um, other people attend before you are? It's a way to for you to allow, you're going to let people in. And I like that. So even though I have to let everyone in, I know who has attended my meeting and you don't have anyone gate crashing or anything like that. OK, so that's the participants. Now, this is the chat function. And you can put in all type in. So if, for example, you're using it for a lesson, it depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for a lesson, then um, maybe you've given the students time to do an independent task and you say, OK, I'm going to um, turn my mic off. I'm going to switch my camera off. And if you have any questions, put it in the chat so they can silently work. And then that's the hands up function. You can see if anyone wants attention. No, they have this one, the breakout rooms. So I like using breakout rooms, as you see you can do it automatically or manually so if you want to say okay these two don't work well together i'm going to decide who works or if you want to do it really quickly you can just click automatically you need to select how many people you want to go in each room right so if you want to be it being a pair task or if it's if there's an odd number so you decide then you create rooms and when you create rooms so it's creating the rooms now. What comes up now is it will tell you um, there it's closed. But if we had other people here, that one would come up as open rooms. You click that all the rooms are open. When they're in the rooms, you can join the independent, well, the individual rooms. You also have the option to see every chat every text message, every thing that they say to each other. So you can go in the rooms and see what's going on. 
you can also send an announcement so it's there make an announcement you click on it and you type in whatever urgent things you want it will go to all the rooms as an urgent announcement okay of course that's the mute function the video function and that is your share button okay that is your share button now if when you're ready to leave the meeting if i you need to end the meeting for all because if you just leave the meeting the meeting will still be there there'll be participants in the meeting so if you want to end the meeting for all you don't want anyone to be left behind just click end the meeting i hope you have enjoyed today i will be doing more please comment below anything else you want me to look at um this is how i navigate it i will do maybe a session on sharing content but you tell me what you need to find out more about it will really guide me in putting out things that you want to know more of until next time bye and i'll see you in the next one bye